Ready, Freddy, Save the Earth by Abby Klein. Chapter four, walk, don't drive. The next morning, I heard my mom yelling at me from downstairs. Freddy, you need to get a move on. Remember, you're walking to school today. Oh no, I had almost forgotten. I jumped out of bed, threw on my clothes, and ran into the bathroom. I accidentally bumped into my sister, Susie, who was brushing her teeth. Her toothbrush flew out of her hand and landed in the toilet. Now look what you did, you little pain, said Susie. Why don't you watch where you're going? Sorry, I said. I'll get it for you. I reached into the toilet and pulled out her toothbrush. Here you go. Are you kidding me? I'm not going to use that toothbrush ever again. That's disgusting. And I can't believe you stuck your hand in the toilet. Wait until I tell mom. You wouldn't do that, I said. Oh, really? Watch me, she'll flip out. You know what a neat freak she is. Please don't tell her. What's it worth to you? How about I let you control the remote for the television for two nights? Two nights? Make it a week and we have a deal, she said, holding up her pinky for a pinky swear. A week? That's not fair. <clears throat> then I'll tell mom as soon as we get downstairs. <sighs> Fine, a week, I said. I reached for Susie's pinky, but she pulled it back. Now what? No pinky swear until you wash that hand you stuck in the toilet. I washed my hands and then we locked pinkies. Now, go get me another toothbrush, Susie demanded. I tossed her toothbrush in the trash can and got out a new one. Here you go, I said, handing her the clean toothbrush. She started brushing her teeth again. You shouldn't leave the water running when you brush your teeth, I said. What? said Susie. You shouldn't leave the faucet running. It wastes a lot of water. You should turn it off while you're brushing. What are you, the water police? No, I'm learning about things kids can do to help the planet. Mrs. Wushy gave us an Earth Day challenge list, and that was number three. If I do all of the things on my list by Friday, then I get to be a member of the green team. That sounds kind of cool said Susie as she turned off the water. It is. That's also why I am walking to school today. That's number six on the list. Walking means fewer cars and less pollution in the air. Freddy, called my mom. If you don't come down right this instant, then you're going to have to take the bus. I couldn't take the bus. If I did, Then I wouldn't be able to cross number six off the list. Coming, Mom, I yelled. Susie followed me out of the bathroom. I stopped, turned to her, and said, Uh, I think you forgot something. Now what, Mr. Green Jeans? You forgot to turn off the light. You should always turn off the light when you leave a room. You want to be a power saver, not a power waster. Susie went back into the bathroom and turned off the light. Thanks for taking care of the planet, I said, smiling. That was one more thing I could check off the challenge list. I bounded down the stairs and into the kitchen. What took you so long and what were you and Susie arguing about? My mom asked. Nothing, I said. I was just reminding her to turn the faucet off when she brushes her teeth. You know, you and dad should do that too. You can save a lot of water that way. I'll try to remember to do that tonight, said my dad, looking up from his paper. I looked up at the clock. <gasps> Robbie's going to be here any minute. I'd better take my bagel to go, Mom. I'll just eat it while I'm walking. The doorbell rang. There's Robbie now. I grabbed my bangle, bagel and my shark backpack, and I ran to the door. Ready, Freddy? asked Robbie. Yep, I said with my mouth full of bagel. A few pieces of food flew out of my mouth. Ew, gross, said Robbie. Say it, don't spray it, he said laughing. I smiled and nodded. We started to walk down the street. 
I think I actually like walking better than riding the bus, Robbie said. Yeah, I said. We don't have to listen to Max or Chloe. Just then, we heard a familiar voice. Hehe, <laughs> watch out, suckers, yelled Max as he sped by on his bicycle. He's the one who should watch out, said Robbie. Yeah, I said, he almost ran us over. See you losers at school, Max called over his shoulder. Just then, Jessie stepped out in front of Max's bike and he had to slam on the brakes. She took hold of his handlebars and said, Hey, loser, why don't you slow down and watch where you're going? You almost ran over my friends. Let go of my bike, said Max. I'll let go as soon as you say you're sorry. Sorry, Max mumbled. What was that? I couldn't hear you. Sorry, Max yelled. That's better, said Jessie. She let go of his handlebars. Run along now, she said. Max took off like a speeding bullet. Jessie was so brave, she was the only one who would stand up to Max, the biggest bully in the whole first grade. Thanks, Jessie, I said. No problem. He thinks he's so tough, said Jessie, but he's really just a big baby. We all laughed. I better start, we better start running if we're going to make it to school in time for the first bell, said Robbie. Let's race, said Jessie. On your mark, get set, go. I ran as fast as I could. I thought my heart was going to pop out of my chest, but Jessie still beat us both. You are amazing, I said to Jessie, giving her a high five. Thanks, she said and smiled. 